Right here we're holding a longbow. I should say Ken's holding a longbow. So go ahead and demonstrate how to draw the bow. So you just, you just draw it back, and as you draw it back, it gets harder and harder and harder and harder as you pull it back. Okay. Then as you release it slowly, it gets easier and easier until there's no pull, tension. no tension at all. Make sense? So if you were to draw the force draw curve on a graph, what would it look like? Linear. Linear, pretty linear. In fact, a long bow, technically, especially a very long bow, is almost a perfect linear uh, draw. As you draw the string back, the force gets progressively harder and harder. It never really lets off. So let's imagine that Ken here is in a tree stand, and he's waiting for the deer to drop by, and he's going to hunt this deer with a bow. You see the deer coming, but he's not quite close enough to shoot. So what you do is you draw the string back, and you wait. And you wait. As you're holding, what's the draw force on that bow? This one? Yeah. Probably like 50 pounds. 50 pounds? Okay. Yeah. So go ahead and draw that back again. Could you imagine being in a tree stand, waiting, waiting, <laughs> as you're holding 50 pounds, you start to shake, you know? That's not exactly an ideal hunting position to be in, is it? Hold it. Hold it. <laughs> okay. So then you release. So what a lot of hunters do with longbows, they basically wait till the last minute. When, how's the longest I can wait till I can draw this thing back? Because otherwise I'm going to get tired and shaky and probably miss the shot if I'm, if I'm too fatigued. I mean, I drew that back. I could tell my hand was shaking just a little bit. Um, I wasn't used to that, uh, that draw of a bow. So the idea is it'll work as a weapon, but it certainly has its limitations. So now we have the compound bow. Let's put this back, get the compound out. 